I've been teaching myself how to use a 3D printer. And, oh, and so I know, it's arrived. Well, no. The, oh. Well, this is the thing. Is, is my, my experiment is I want to know if I were to get a 3D printer, is it going to be so onerous for me to learn how to use it that it becomes another one of those technologies that I purchase mm. and then never use. Right. Because we fall into that. Sure. Right? A cool tech comes out and you want it and you buy it and then it's too hard to learn and you don't have time and it just sits on a shelf somewhere. And then it becomes obsolete. Yes. So I've taken a different approach and said, okay, well, I'm going to learn how to 3D print first. Okay. And then I'm going to working with designs. make that decision. So yes, working with designs. Okay. Very cool. So I use a tool at tinkercad.com, which is made by the Autodesk folks. Yep. And it allows me to use my web browser to do 3D designs. Cool. So what ideas have you come up with? So my original ideas are very, very basic, Jeff. As you can imagine, I mean, I'm just learning the ropes. Right. But so... so and I mentioned this two weeks ago when you were here, that I was going to do this, and I've done it, is that uh, in my laundry room, I wanted a place to hang face masks. Because okay. we have, we've got three kids at home, yes, and we all have five or more of these. I think I've got like ten of them myself, because I'm working in the field, and the kids each have five yeah. face masks. But we bought the washable ones, and you don't want to put them through the dryer. So right. I want to make a, a rack for them. So I've designed, I haven't printed because I don't have a 3D printer, but uh, this was the experiment. Can I design the, the idea that comes to mind, which is uh, a half inch piece of PVC pipe yep. hanging in the unfinished laundry room. So I've got access to the rafters. I can just screw right into them. And so I designed the, um, the me well, the mechanism, the plates to put the half inch PVC up on the ceiling okay. hanging and the hooks that are going to hook onto that to allow us to hang as many masks as we want. Very cool. So it is kind of cool. So it feels like something that, I, hey, I'm, I'm actually designing, I'm actually creating based on a need, based on something that I probably couldn't just walk into a hardware store and buy and probably doing it a lot cheaper. I, there's the cost of a 3D printer, but as yeah. BP9 mentioned in on, on the Discord earlier today, the, the fact is, is that even though there's an investment in the 3D printer, which is pretty cheap these days, yeah. you can go to our website, category5.tv, click on shop, you'll see an Ender 3 V2 there, and they're not very expensive. So the, the initial hurdle of like the investment is there, but fairly quickly as you design and print things you're going to make that back of course that's yeah. the idea yeah and that and really I, makes sense i'm really seeing that as i as i look at things in online shopping yeah. and think could i this is the challenge that i've given myself could i create that myself with a 3d printer and then i start looking at okay well that thing would cost me 20 dollars, and i could print it for 20 cents right so how quickly could I make that back? It's an interesting experiment, but, but I've proven to myself that, one, I can design things. I can take my ideas. Very, very basic right now, folks. You can see the designs that I've done at uh, thingiverse.com slash bald nerd. Uh, you can see my designs, but you'll see the hooks that I made and the, the mounting apparatus for it. Um, and then I've also taken it one step further and I've taken other people's designs because you can get onto Thingiverse.com. Yeah. You can find things that are close to what you want, then load them into your software, in my case, Tinker, tweak it. Tinkercad for now. And, uh, and yeah, tweak it, modify it, change it, make it so that it suits your purpose. Very cool. It is kind of cool. So I'm at that point, I think, where it's like, yeah, I can, I can do this. Yeah. So now, when I do make that investment, when I get the 3D printer and I, and I set that up and, and, and I'm ready to print, I'm ready to print. I have designs. I've proven that I can design. And, uh, and I'm good to go. I like that. Interesting, right? So Tinker, cool. tinkercad.com is the software that I'm using. For now, yeah. it's probably rudimentary in so many ways, but it's really really easy for me to get my feet wet when it comes to 3D printing. You got to start somewhere. And then I talk with 
Bo Lechnowski from Ameridroid, and he's telling me about how he programs 3D designs. He uses software that is so much more sophisticated than what I'm, uh, I'm doing through my web browser. Right. And is able to actually tweak things by adjusting numbers in the, in the program. And it, it, that is, but it, that's why he's able to now, he's able to do things that I can only, I can imagine, but I, I'm not capable of yet. Right. Right. Bo's a cool guy. Yeah, oh yeah. Thingiverse.com slash bald nerd. Check out my designs.